as I am going through Chomsky's critiques of Skinner on my accounts, I wanted to give some relevant information about my own background. And to be clear, I'm, well, it's, it's kind of complicated and it's kind of interesting. First, I've been studying both Chomsky and Skinner's work for about 20 years since I did my undergraduate in neuroscience. So I have been thinking about their work and their ideas for a very long time and applying them to my work. And then as a research scientist, my background is actually in animal behaviorism, which at first glance you might say, well, it's kind of strange that she's so critical of Skinner's behaviorism when so much of her own laboratory work, which you would be right to assume, I, I believe, is uh, valuable, <laughs> is based on that work. It's really important to understand that there's a big philosophical distinction between um, doing behavioral experiments on animals and applying them directly to how we treat human beings. In cellular neuroscience, we use uh, Skinner's behavioral experiments, which are relatively scientifically grounded compared to the ideas that he had about how humans are malleable, how he believed they were malleable, and how he believed that should be utilized. There's a big difference. So what cellular neuroscientists have done with Skinner's behavioral work over the last 60 odd years is a lot. And while the field that I'm in has been heavily critiqued, I would and do argue that it has tremendous value. So what we do is, sorry, I'm shivering a little, it's a little cold out here. Um, what, what we do and what I've done in my work is uh, do these very careful experiments where we combine behavioral conditioning and cellular neuroscience, like looking at electrophysiology, histology, things like that, um, that give us an idea of how the brain processes these complex things. So basically the behavior is just what we can observe, but what we are trying to understand is the mind. And that is where the complexity and nuance lies. And while Skinner believed that the human mind was as simple as the behaviors that we present, the cellular neuroscientist believes that the behaviors and what we can observe combined with careful scientific rigor can reveal tremendous insight into the mind and evolution.